topic of discussion was whether students should be able to hatch certain types of eggs at their schools. Hatching ducks, geese, and swans would not be allowed under a proposal discussed today. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt live from the Capitol. Rose, this is going to be a head scratcher for some people. Yeah, so the bill's author says hatching ducks and geese takes longer and they have more needs. So she believes if lesson plans include them, teachers could pivot to chicken eggs. What can be a cute and educational project, it can be a serious health risk to the animals, children adult, and adults, wildlife and livestock. State Representative Samantha Vang is talking about egg incubation projects. Her bill would ban schools from hatching eggs that come from waterfowl, meaning ducks, geese and swans. Along with a veterinarian, she raised biosecurity concerns and questioned whether birds born ill or after school hours receive proper care. My career focused on avian and exotic animals has exposed me to numerous cases where poor incubation practices led to deformities, injuries, and diseases in birds, many of which were preventable. The Minnesota Veterinary Medical Association tells Fox 9 it does not have a formal position on the legislation. The proposal initially sought to ban all types of eggs, including chicken, but it was amended to include only waterfowl after the ag community spoke out, including on TikTok. Bird hatching projects are a big part of egg education, and not just in an egg classroom. Like a lot of times it happens in the elementary schools, and it's a great way to inform students on agriculture. I think the, the folks that are doing these projects within our education system are extremely responsible. The Minnesota Association of Agricultural Educators asked for further research to be done to address the concerns raised about animal welfare. The group says it would oppose an outright egg ban, but is neutral on banning only waterfowl, explaining that chicken eggs can still help teach children. The bill was ultimately put on pause today in committee after multiple lawmakers raised concerns or questioned whether this potential ban could include 4-H or FFA programs. Reporting live from the state capitol, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. All right, Rose, thank you.